in five, four, three, two, one. That's right. What's up, everybody? It's Tony Kid, and this, this is, is my man. Monster. Monster. That's right. And we're just tuning in right now after the freaking Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor fight. And man, what a fight it was! It was one heck of an Ten entertaining. Rounds. Ten rounds. I get you, McGregor. You last Ten, Ten rounds. rounds. Ten rounds. I was this... expecting a knockout. Exactly. Wasn't a knockout. It was a TKO, but still something is something. Exactly. So let's start off with the anticipation of the fight. I was anticipating with this fight very much just because. It's MMA and boxing, two big mega stars going head to head, face to face. Finally, after all this bicker batter stuff going at it, it's time to be great. Fight it was. What did you think so far? I think this hat looks good on me. Don't yeah. you? Hey, pretty swaggy, man. How does it feel? Y'all like it? Should I keep it? <laughs> my voice feels deep. My balls dropped. I'm good. Oh, did I say that? I mean, puberty. Yeah. So just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my voice is getting deeper. So you think of the fight, John? I liked it. Uh, it seemed entertaining. It seemed like one side it was uh, pitter pattering the whole fight. Mm-hmm. The other side was actually punching good as he should. Yeah. True, but there's true. one part in the fight that actually caught me by surprise. There's a point where Mayweather said, and I bet you a lot of people are going to complain about that moment. Mm. There's a point where they back him up, and Mayweather starts coming in like the ref just broke them up. Yeah. Mayweather starts coming in to approach him while the referee is telling them, hey, you know. Back Wait, it up. Back up a little bit. As he's coming in, McGregor's like, boom. Oh, yeah, he throws a quick jab. <laughs> yeah. a quick jab. He throws a quick jab, and everyone's like, oh, why would he do that? And I'm like, me, why did I it before? Protect yourself at, at all, all times. times. That's true. He did that to so, freaking, what's his face? It's teaching, Ortiz. man. That's right. But good, good fight. Good, good fight. contact. Uh, Ten rounds, something I didn't expect. Definitely. Uh, because McGregor tires himself out fast. He did. He did. He tired himself fast. I think... I think what it was, the way he tied himself out was because of the different, the different positions, the different movement that he was yeah. doing. I think it's what got him a little bit more tired. But let's all put, let's all put it in perspective. Like when he did his weigh-in yesterday, let's be honest, he looked dry. Like he looked so dried out from all the hydration that he had that he barely made it to 153. Now when someone does that, as, as me as a wrestler having to cut weight and stuff like that, I know what it does to your body. It loses you. You like... You have no type of energy whatsoever at the even then or even the next day because your body needs to re like get re energized and being dried out like that it's it's a big toll like even if yeah. I, that totally makes sense on why they supposedly delayed the fight a little bit longer like he just I don't think he was all there I think he, he knew his body he knew that if something wasn't right in in the feeling of his body and like the way his movement just didn't feel right now. Let's be honest, like when the first round came in, he came in flying. So he came in like wanting to give him, you know, get him that's, hurt fast. I think that's the one problem I have with uh, McGregor. In every fight, even in UFC, I think, he always tries to do what is known trying to knock the guy out. Take yeah, him out. he tries to take him out early. a knockout artist. Exactly. So when you have that mentality of being a knockout artist, yep. you're technically already on knockout mode. No Big matter time. how much you say he trained for boxing, because you're going against a man who I'm surprised wasn't actually the chaser. He was actually not the chase. He was a chase her. Yeah, and this one he was the chaser, very yeah. surprisingly. But I think he felt like he had to do that to kind of close the gap of McGregor, because well, of McGregor using his distance. I think that was and that he would have got what him. Happened at the beginning of the fight. He got him. Got him a yeah. few good licks with that left hand. Got him and in between. When it was being chased. McGregor was getting him, so we knew one thing is McGregor taught us one lesson. It, and I said it before, remember this, on a long time video I said before, Mayweather cannot take on anyone with a good reach. Yeah. Now this is a guy who doesn't have enough boxing skills to, skills to take on Mayweather. Right. So if a real boxer with good reach, good speed, good strength was to take on Mayweather. Oh, you would have got him. Yeah. I think. I would, be, I would agree with you. I think he would have got it. Because what happened here is Mayweather knew if I stay on the ropes, I'm history. Yeah, big time. Because there was a lot of times where he was, getting yeah. la- he was getting hit. So what he did, he became the guy that had to chase Mayhem McGregor around. And that's one thing I'll tell you about McGregor. When he's being chased around, he wears himself out because he's running around the ring. He's yep. not chasing you. Exactly. So I believe that's what tired him out. And that's the whole what tired him out. He moved all around the ring trying to avoid... Being punched by Mayweather, the guy time. who has smaller reach, way smaller reach than you. So, 
There's some things I'm still questioning about the fight. Uh, this, I normally do. I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of things. Well, that was one thing. So we analyzed it. You know, that's our intake about it. You know, I mean, it was an interesting fight. Very good. Um, I, I think it was way more entertaining than the Pacquiao versus Mayweather. And then he big time. It. You know, want to hear her you were there. No, oh, I was working. Oh, that's right. You were. Oh my uh, God. I actually could have had the day off. And I told my boss, they're like, you know, John, you could have actually had the day off. I'm like, nah. Nah, you know what? I'd rather work than pay something. Well, like, I mean, it was, it was more interesting because of the fact that I think you had Mayweather, like, like you said, he was growing into him. He was attacking him a little bit more compared to running around like in the Pacquiao fight where he was just moving, moving, moving around, moving around, moving around. Now, and everything. My question to you, because I believe... You said it after the fight, and a lot, and a lot of fans are saying it now. Do you think the stoppage was a conspiracy? I think so. This is why I think the stoppage wasn't a rightful stoppage. And now with that, does it play into what I said before about these boxing fights? How one fighter is the pitter patter puncher, yep, compared to the other guy that throws a good puncher. Exactly, I, I would agree. But I think the way you said it, and the way you planned it out. Play Remember, it up, play I up. said it, and imagine this, Rich, I go back to that fight when, I, when we were talking about the fight, okay? Remember what I said. I sat here like this, I looked at the camera, and I said, and I said, quote me on it. I told you guys that too. Quote me on it. I know all you Mayweather fans are going to say I'm a hater, but I'm going to say it exactly like I said now. Quote me on it. I said, they're going to start off with McGregor chasing him in the first round and getting him. Yeah. And then I said, little by little, McGregor's going to tire himself out. Yeah. Which is what Mosley did. I said the same thing. Mosley tired himself out. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, he's tired. Yeah. Now he can't fight. But all of a sudden, Mosley's still smiling throughout the whole fight. He's still expanding. He was toying he around. Like he was doing the hands and behind McGregor the back. He was, was smiling. Doing the same thing. McGregor was actually toying with them and smiling. And they were having a good time. You were actually watching two friends. Two good friends do a spar session with you guys. Big time. That's pretty much it. So what I said, I said, either one, he gets himself so tired that at the end, Mayweather's going to knock him out. Mm -hmm. Or two, it'll go to a 12-round decision exactly. and Mayweather's going to get it. Right. Now look at that video, and then come back over here to me again, and I want you to say, you got something going on. Because yeah. I said it way before this fight even happened. I described to you the whole entire fight before it happened. So got a little cake on me. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> But, I mean, I agree. I totally agree. Like, the way the fight... It's just... There's just so much into this fight. Like, if you guys get a chance to rewatch this fight, if you watch this fight step by step, round by round, it just seemed... You know, it seemed like McGregor had his num had the reach. He was hitting him in the beginning. He was keeping that distance. He was landing his punches. He starts weakening up his punches. And he weakened up his punches. And the way I saw it, and the reason why I, at that moment when I'm watching it, is because of the fact that he doesn't want to use too much of his energy so, because he knows that Mayweather is a great yeah. blocker and a great defensive fighter. So, so he's not going to want to use the big heavy yeah. hands. No. He's going to tap, 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 wait till you get an opening, then boom, uh, strike. That's pretty much everyone else has spot Mayweather the same way. That's why I said everyone's done the same thing. Mayweather has a weak chin. I said it before. I think. And what happens now is everyone that starts punching them very weak is they know that they got him. Yep. And if you're going to get paid a lot of money to fight this guy and make yourself lose, yep. you really don't want to knock him out. So you're just going to... Pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter -patter. And watch the, the fight. fight. Look what I'm doing. Let the watch fight the go. Watch the fight and tell me if that's what's going on. It was a lot Does of. Does that hurt you? No. And look at the fight. He's doing that. That's why me whether it's just me. I'm like, no, it's not hurting me. It's not. It just, We're it good. just. And then that happened. Okay, so that's why I'm not a Mayweather hater. I respect Mayweather, Mayweather because business. he's actually he's a, business. He's, he's, he's a smart. great, smart. He knows ass how to guy. get all you guys to pay for his fights. He said, "I did." No, <laughs> not, not, not really. I mean, <laughs> those who are smart didn't pay for something. Like that. Exactly. Now, I the way I see it is by the fifth round, Thank he you. gassed out. You could tell he gassed out pretty bit, or at least he. That's when he started laying back a little bit. He was getting hit himself yeah. a little bit Thank more. Thank you both for the Wild Wings for letting us watch it at your place. That's right. Appreciate then, it. Shout out. <laughs> Wings of the bomb. Um, other than that, like he gassed him out a little bit. And then this is where this is where this whole TKO thing comes into play with me. That find, I find very interesting. Okay. When in the beginning of the ninth round, as soon as they come face to face, McGregor hits him with a flurry three punch combo 
and all of a sudden Mayweather is down where he's clinching his upper, like his lower body, like, dude, you hit me in the wrong spot. You hit me in the wrong spot. Oh my God, that really hurt. He actually, it looks like he's talking to him. It looks like he was talking to him. And then he's backing up into the corner. Mayweather, McGregor goes, follows. He was about to hit him a nice, he was about to go and for upper. The part but then. When he did that, the referee actually separated them. Uh, yes. Right before he could even do anything, the referee separated them. And, and that's then, when uh, Mayweather is talking to McGregor. Yeah. And I was like, for what? What is going on there? Like you did had him. Hit me with the low blow. Is that what we saw? But know. there was no, no, because it was a left. No. Hit him with a left. He left. Hit him with a left, like flurry hit. And then all of a sudden he hit him with the up with a right body hit. So when he hit the with the right body hit, that's when the the camera was facing it, and you could clearly see he hit him in the kidney. Like he boom right in the kidney. So once that happened, it's, he goes into the corner. McGregor follows. He yeah, almost that's gets stopped. The actually pushes on the way. And then all of a sudden he's like he wants to go. Then he just goes for the grab. I'm sorry, McGregor is a smart. He's a smart fart. Well, spider. he comes from. A cage. I mean, he fights inside the UFC. If he knows how to fight in UFC, that means he's gonna go for the kill. If you're a killer instant mode from UFC, right? What's gonna happen is when you got a guy like that against the ropes, yeah, down, hurt, down and hurt, you're gonna go for killer instinct. That's the predator. Out. Instinct. Go for the flurry. Go for the bombs. And there was none of that. In this and what does McGregor do? He smiles and he's just like, oh. Like it's nothing to toy around a little bit, tap, 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 tap. Then all of a sudden in the tenth round, in the tenth round, they go at it a little bit. Supposedly he gets hit quite a bit in the face. Then all of a sudden he goes against the rose and McGregor hit uh, Mayweather hits him on another five combo hit or three combo hit, and the referee just stops the fight. Like I'm sorry for a TKO, and this is a retrospect of the TKO. Okay. What peop- some of you boxing fans can sit there and say, oh, it's, you know, player uh, health, you know, you know, for the health and stuff like that. But if a TKO, to make sense in a TKO, the person has to be knocked down at least once, at least twice. Well, I see, there have been instances where a guy got knocked down and he's against the corner. Yes. And the referee never stopped the fight and the dude's punching them, but the guy's already lifeless. Uh-huh. The ref should have stopped it right here. Conor McGregor this was is moving. What I was gonna tell you, if your guy can still move and back away and still not take punches, then there is something telling you he should have kept going until either finally the corner stops it, yes. or the ref stops it because in the tenth round, eleventh round, uh, he would have said, "I see no action coming from this." Man. Right. He's not throwing no more. Is there something? But that he going has right? to get him a warning at, before, at least. That's something that referees do is they give you a warning. A. Hey, if you're not gonna throw anything, I gotta stop the fight. Yeah, like you gotta throw something, you gotta do something, man. I'm gonna stop the fight. Yeah. You give them the warnings, you give them the okays and stuff, and then all of a sudden. It's not even happening in Mayweather's fight. I'm not gonna take that from Mayweather. I've seen it in other fights, even in fights that show on uh, Friday Night Fights. Yeah. Where the guy seems like he's doing okay, but if the guy that is being promoted is, um, you know, starting to hit you finally, they stop the other guy from doing anything. And yeah. the fight, and the other guy didn't look at the referee like, what, what was that about? Yeah. Like, it just, like, right there, to me, where, is where the whole thing just went down. Like... It was all set up. In my imagination, in the way I see it, I always said it before, these fights are all prepared for you to believe in a good boxing movie, aka Rocky. And, and the stuff. crazy part is that you had to come in the boxing ring, and you had to do it in the boxing ring to do something like this. Mm-hmm. Because it's all plays makes sense. Mayweather, the highest grossing boxer. Mayweather, the highest pay per view boxer. And rating. you couldn't find the one for him to fight because everyone that wanted to fight Mayweather, you had uh, Keith Thompson, I think right. his name is. You had him. You had uh, who else? Um, I can't name a few. Broner wanted to fight him. Right. Adrian. And, uh, I'm pretty sure Canelo wanted to fight him again. Canelo wants to fight him again. Triple G's been asking for him. But it's you would have known those fights would have not made this much of pay per view. No. This it would not at all. Not whatsoever. just that. It makes me wonder if anyone would actually follow through with the plan. No, because I'm pretty sure Triple G. There would be no way in the world if Triple G would have got that fight that they would have made him like look like as if he can't punch or nothing. Yeah. When his history is the highest KO history ever. That's what I'm saying is. You had to get somebody that would agree. Oh, I'm coming from UFC. Right. I'm coming from a new territory. I'm I'm, I'm an hey, animal outside of my cage. I'm getting thirty I'm million dollars. Doing this 
spring, but hey, I'm getting paid. Yeah, getting thirty million dollars, and I'm not really doing nothing. So yeah, why not? So it what just... I'm telling you guys is this: I respect Mayweather because he's smart. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to get your money into his pocket, and he did it. Yeah, I can't give him. I cannot give Mayweather your props on this one because I don't think you rightfully won this. I really don't. I would have understood it if it was a different scenario, and I would have gave you your props then. But right now, I just don't. I don't Probably see it. Like but you, like John said, like Johnson said, you are a great businessman, and this was a good money. This was good cash cow for you. Now you just better pay off that IRS and make sure that money don't go to waste. Just saying. That's what he did it. Was, yeah, he needed to, or else he and was gonna go broke. And why would he use the UFC guy? Here's a second reason. The buildup is perfect. A UFC guy. With a known to be able to like kill an instinct of knowing how to knock somebody out. Oh, let's bring him into boxing because he could probably knock him out. Yep. But you got so many UFC guys that could have actually gone toe to toe with Mayweather mm -hmm. because they're smart fighters. You have so many of them, like, well, not Spider, but if Spider and Mayweather fought at the young prime when Spider had good life, oh, yeah. I think Anderson would have taken him. That would have been something crazy. Because yeah. Anderson's a, he does the whole. So what I'm saying is. You got guys that <laughs> box, and then you got guys that just brawl. Yeah. And New has always chose brawlers. He's a brawler. Yeah. He's a, he's a straight brawler. Now, if they if it was in the cage, eh, you would have got murdered, Mayweather. I'd be murdered. surprised if it was the other way around. Knowing yeah. how he is, he would have like, been like, you know, I got into your territory. Nah, I'm, I'm like, going. Go. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, all right, cool, that's fine. Yeah. Hit him with a left kick in the face, bam! Mayweather would <laughs> like, oh, I'm not supposed to be here. Hold up. Oh. But we'll see, you know, he retired, <sighs> props to him, 50 and 0. Yeah, props to you, 5 and, five and 0, 50 and 0, you know, you won it, fair and not square. Yeah, that's how I see it. But, but boxing for you. Great fight. McConnor, you did you did pretty decent McConner. as a... M Connor McGregor. McConnor, McConnor, as yeah. Floyd Sr. would say. You did a great job. I think you lasted longer than a lot of people expected. Uh, no one really expected you to go that way of a I distance in a way. In reality, he didn't want to take the, the knockout. I think they might have planned for him to take a knockout and he was... He's like, no. Saying, no, no, I'm not going to take For a what? Why am I going to take a knockout when I've been, been, I've been hitting harder? I've been hitting bare gloves? And if I get hit by you, I'm supposed to go down with a little bit of... I think no way. You know, they were like, okay, we've well, got to find a way for you to lose. Hey, the only way would be a TKO. He doesn't want to, everybody knows if it would have went to decision, it was rigged on man. You can't get the referee that Mayweather always had in all his fights because everyone's going to say, oh, the conspiracy theory is right. And you saw that? As soon as that friggin' fight started, that referee wasn't even the right referee. He always knew, he brought up a new one because everyone's talking about how the referee. Because he was saying the exact same thing in a Pacquiao fight. It was the same referee from the other fight. Yeah, every other fight that he's had, kind of, has always been the same one. So, I, it's just so much stuff going on with this yeah. that just totally but, just does not go right. And I'm just letting you guys know. Look look at the details very, very detail-like and clearly because there's just so much stuff that you could just automatically tell you know, what's going that, down. Look at his fight and, say, and check out what I said. If yeah. you could actually see anything where I said that he's, he's never been hit by this. That's I'm right. Tell me it. Because I'll look at the videos and I'll send you the videos of each one. I'll make a clip of every fight that he's had with guys where they actually do the pitter patter punches. There you go. And I'll prove it to you guys. I'll yep. prove it that it's been pitter patters. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. That's it. That was the fight. Y'all, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it. Remember, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Especially what Justin said. If y'all have the video, put the links in the bottom and we'll take a look ourselves and see what's up and let you guys know. All right. And as always, live, love, Feel it. That's right, Rejects. Y'all take it easy. Peace out. Bye.